Little Brushflies, welcome back to my channel, Brushfly NUA. If you're new here, hi. I'm Mercedes, I'm the face behind Brushfly NUA, and if you are new, remember to hit that subscribe button. If you're not, welcome back. So today I have decided to do a fails video. So in this little drawer that's come out of Birchbox Towers, I have been stashing makeup that for me has been a fail. Um, I normally try to do like a faves and a fail, but there are quite a few products here that I have kind of just thought maybe I will just do a fails video and then next time around do a favourites video, although I did recently do a summer makeup favourites, so yeah, this kind of evens it out. Um, positivity, negativity must be even. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go through, show you makeup and one skincare item that I have not been enjoying lately and if you think my eye look looks a bit clowny and a bit crazy today sorry about that I have just tested out the YSL Paris Colour Clutch eyeshadow palette as my makeup bargain of the month I like it I obviously can't um, control my hands when it comes to playing with eyeshadow though because I do look like a clown but let's jump straight in and see what I don't like Okay, so I'm just going to jump in straight with mascara. So I have three that have been a fail for me lately. I have not enjoyed. If you watch my channel, you will know that I have been struggling to find a mascara that I like and that I'm comfortable with and that I like the packaging of. Um, so yeah, these three have not been very good. They've not done it for me. They have not been a favourite. So the first one is the Lumine Essential Volume Mascara. Essential Volume, my ass. It did nothing for my lashes. Um, this was the brush or the wand. I just found it didn't really apply very much pigment or volume to the lashes. It didn't really make mine look any different at all. I ended up having to grab my other mascara and layer it up together to make an eye look. So yeah, this one is definitely a fail. I wouldn't recommend it. And I've heard quite a few people that don't like the Lumine mascara. Their skincare, on the other hand, is amazing. I do love their skincare, but some of their makeup products are a bit... The next one is the Revolution and Coca-Cola. Um, I was really excited for this collaboration and actually I quite enjoy a few of the products from there. This is the wand, very big and bulky, but again, same problem as the Luminae one, it did nothing for my lashes. Didn't really give much pigment, didn't give any volume, didn't give any length, literally just looked like normal lashes. I mean, my lashes are quite blonde and sparse so I need a formula that's quite thick quite heavy and you know quite just the brush needs to be able to fan them out as well so it looks like I have more than I have this just it made it look like they were just normal lashes on someone else like my kids have really nice beautiful lashes it looked like you know their lashes before mascara just looked like normal dark lashes. Um, so on mine, it didn't do very much. Don't like that one. And I have another one from Revolution. This is just one that I got from the advent calendar. So it doesn't really have like a, I'm a volumizing one or I'm a this. It just says Revolution. This one, I didn't like. I can't even remember why I didn't like it. Um, but apparently I didn't, it's in the fails drawer, but I can't remember why, but I know I don't like it, so that one is a fail. I know there are two mascaras there from Revolution. I do actually really enjoy their 5D Lash Pal Mascara, but spoiler, I don't like their packaging. So keeping with the Revolution family, I have the Eye Bright Concealer in Deep Caramel which everyone was using as like a contour shade. I wanted to join in and I don't like it. Um, it's 
I don't know whether you can tell, I've only used it a couple of times, so it has been laying around in my drawer, but it's kind of got like, it looks like watery and a bit separated in there. And I also found when I put it on my skin, I don't know whether it's because I have dry skin, things do cling to it easily in patches, so maybe that's why I don't like it. But when I would apply it and try and blend it out, it wouldn't blend out evenly or nicely. It just looked quite muddy on me, but that could be my skin type. Maybe my skin doesn't like it, so that for me I did not like. Then I have the I Heart Revolution Chocolate brow gel. So this one I got out of the advent calendar and when I first used it I did quite enjoy it. Or so I thought. <laughs> then I started using this one which is the Lumine brow gel and I thought this doesn't really do very much, it doesn't stick them down very well. So then I went back to this one and then I found that this one gave me brow dandruff and maybe I hadn't noticed before or maybe because it's been open a couple of months now, maybe the formula has changed. But literally I would apply it and then there would be white specks in my brows looking like dandruff. So this one for me is a fail. Um, the Lumine one is not my favourite. It doesn't really stick it down very well. So this one is sort of like a semi fail. I'm using it because I don't have another brow gel. That I like at the moment so I am using it but I think hairspray and a spoolie would actually work a lot better on my brows at the moment I'm finding eyebrow gel I just they're pants at the moment so this one is a semi fail the I Heart revolution one is a big fail this one I'm gonna keep in my handbag anyway or my makeup bag because I need something so the next one from revolution the Revolution and Simpsons Treehouse of Horror Liquid Lipstick in Donut Head Homer. Now you might be thinking, but the other month you were raving about this, it's one of your favourites. And it is, it's in the fails, but it's my fault. I broke it. So you might be thinking, Merce, how did you break a liquid lipstick? I left it in my car. <laughs> um, it was in my handbag. My handbag tipped upside down in the car. I thought I picked everything up. I didn't. This one got left inside. It's been really hot lately. And I found it on the floor and I was like, ooh, my lipstick. So I picked it up. I was on the school run. When I got to the school, we had a couple of minutes. So I applied it before getting out of the car. By the time I got home, I noticed that it had just peeled off and I was literally eating flecks of lipstick like liquid lipstick which was not an enjoyable experience so where I'd left it in my car the heat had obviously changed the formula and it is now not one I can use so it is my own fault for not realizing I'd left it in the car this was actually a tippy top favorite of mine I loved the color I loved the moussey texture of it but yeah, it's now dead. Dead as a doornail. Needs to go. I now have a skincare fail. So this is the Simple Radiance Booster SPF in 30. It's a protect and glow product. And it works a bit like a serum. You put it in the palm of your hand and then just dab it on and then do your makeup. But you're also meant to be able to reapply it during the day. And as you might know, in the UK we're going through a heat wave, although by the time this video goes up the heat wave will have been and gone. So I thought, well, now is the best time for me to have an SPF in my makeup routine. I, or my, skin really struggles with, with SPF. I don't know why, it just really irritates my skin, it breaks me out like no tomorrow. Now, I'm no stranger to breakouts, I have endometriosis, I'm very hormonal, but my breakouts tend to be very this portion of my face orientated. Since applying this, I have had breakouts everywhere. I've got one here, I've got one above my lip, I've got even more than normal around my chin area. 
I have got breakouts going on everywhere and it has only been since I used this. So for me, again, it's another SPF product I can't use. I have tried a Revolution one in the past. I've tried quite a few in the past and they all just don't tend to agree with this. Let's get on to the last few items. So I have three eyeshadow palettes. So let's talk about these two first. So these ones I tried out recently in a video. I can't remember which one it was, but I think it was like makeup I haven't tried yet in my collection. Such an original name. But these were from Primark. And I think I paid something stupid like a pound each or two pound. And I was drawn to them because they remind me of like the Natasha Denona design palette. Now I know Primark is not going to have Natasha Denona formula and be as good as that but I expected them to do something these are some of the worst palettes I have ever ever tried in my life these are god awful there's no pigmentation they vanish they're just absolutely rubbish and one thing that really annoyed me is like these three shades in both palettes are different. You know, they've got different colours. But these two are the exact same shades in both palettes. No difference between them. So yeah, these were the biggest fail I've tried at the moment. And the last one. So you might be thinking, well, you just did your Essence video and you said you liked this. And I do. So this one is a bit confusing. It's kind of like I do like it. But it's a fail because um, when I wore it the other day, I will give it the benefit of the doubt. My hay fever has been playing up lately, so my eyes were watering a little bit. But I found by the end of the day, the pigmentation that I'd put on my eye had gone. It had vanished. The eye look I made, there was like a little bit on the inner lid, the outer section, gone. Um... So that didn't look too great, it didn't last a long time, and if I had done that and gone to an event, I think I would have been very upset. And I just find the colour story, like, it's called I Like to Move It, Move It. Yeah, it's got mauve tones, but it's not as mauve or as purple as I expected it to be. It's kind of a bit wishy-washy. So while I think it's an okay palette if you're on a budget and you like those sort of tones, you know, at the moment we're in the cost of living crisis. If you can't afford Dira makeup, Essence is a great one to go to. I did say that in my video where I mentioned that. But for me, it just didn't have enough oomph. It's not a bad palette. It's not completely atrocious. It doesn't have the best lasting time. But, you know, if you're only going somewhere for a couple of hours, it could last. But, you know, for me... It was just not the best one that I've tried. And I'm trying to be good this year. If I try a palette and it's not my favourite and it's not one I'm going to reach for, I don't want to keep it. So yeah, that is this month's fails. Most of them I'm going to be putting into my declutter drawer or tin so I can keep them all together and do like a big declutter video when I've got enough makeup. If I think some of it can be passed on to friends and family, I'm going to pass it on. If I think they just need to go in a bin, I'll keep it for the declutter video and put it in the bin. But yeah, at the moment, those are my fails. Did not enjoy them. You need to be out of my life. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.